Binding is a very fast and easy way to take something that is really simple and turn it into something that is really spectacular. And all you need is some fine wire and beads. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to bind these little gemstone beads over here around the edge of the sterling silver hoop. I have 28 gauge fine silver wire that I'm going to be using. This is about a foot and a half in length. Okay. So to get started, I usually leave about a two or three inch tail. And I'm going to start winding the fine wire very tightly around my base hoop. Just like this. And I want to keep my wraps of wire very close to each other and not climbing over each other like this. I want them side by side. Nice and close and very um, neat like this. You notice when I pull the wire around my base wire here, I'm using my fingers to kind of smooth any kinks that form in the binding wire. And I'm also pulling the binding wire perpendicular to the base. And that's how you get the tightest bind. Okay. After you coil it two to three times around your base wire to start, then you can start adding beads. Okay. So I'm going to start by adding this bead here. And I'm dropping it so that it touches the edge of my base hoop. And I'm going to use my thumb and pointer finger on my left hand to pinch the bead in place while I use my right hand to pull the binding wire around the base like this. Okay. And you want to do it at least two times like this. And I'm bracing the bead with my pointer finger to keep it from rolling around the back of the hoop. Okay. Once you bind a couple times like that, then we can add another bead. And you can use as many different kinds of beads as you want. That's like smooth the wire out. Now we're using fine silver for this project. I prefer fine silver to bind with because it is a lot softer and more thread-like than sterling silver wire. Even soft sterling wire has a little bit more body than the fine silver does. And the softer the wire is, the easier it is to pull tight. So you want to use as soft a wire as possible when you're doing binding, because if you use something springier like half hard wire, because the wire is going to be stiff, it won't want to wrap tightly around your base. Okay, and then it'll be on the loose side and your beads will slide around, which you don't want. Okay, and while you're working your piece, if you notice that you're wire curves like this. Don't just pull the wire straight. You want to open up the curve like this with your fingers and smooth it out. Any sharp angle or kink that you put in your binding wire will weaken it and that will be a point where it could eventually break. So you want to keep your binding wire as soft and smooth and relaxed as possible. And now I'm ready to add my last bead. So we're going to string it on, pinch the bead in place, and coil the wire about three to four times after that bead, really tightly around the base. Okay, 
And then to clean up these wires at the beginning and the end, I'm just going to use my flush cutter to trim the wires away. I'll wrap one more time. And if you have any little tip of wire still sticking up, you can use your chain nose plier to kind of tap it down so that the tip of the wire is flat against the base. And there we have our embellished silver hoop. I'm going to show you how to embellish this plain gold-plated oval link with some fine wire and beads. I'm going to bind the beads onto the top of this link here. And to start, what I'll do is poke a short tail of the wire through my link and pin it down with my thumb. And I'm going to start winding my wire two times around my link. And I'm always going to start from the inside of the link and pull the wire around the outside edge. Okay, now I'm ready to add a bead. Okay, so I have my bead added and I'm going to have it sit on top of the link like this. So I'm going to pinch it in place and then wind my wire a couple times around the base. I can add another bead. Pinch that in place and wind your wire. it on there. <clears throat> okay. So you always want to pinch the bead in place as you wind it around so it stays where you want it to go. just going to keep going until we have the entire face of the link covered with beads. Okay, I just have one more bead to add to my embellished link. And then I'm going to have to end my wires. So what I like to do at this point is anchor this wire down. But I also want to join the beginning and the end. So what I'm going to do is take the end wire and if possible, push it in the space over here around the first, that, that's holding the first bead down. And coil it once around that wire and trim. And I will do the same thing with the beginning wire and the last bead added. So what I did was wrap the tails of the wire around the binding wires holding the first and the last beads in place. I trimmed the wires away and now I'm going to use my chain nose plier to tuck any wire that may be sticking out. 
down a little bit more so it won't snag on things. Like this. And then we have our embellished link.